With the rising popularity of through axles on road bikes, I thought it'd be a good chance to go through the adapter kits for both the original Kicker Direct Drive and Kicker 16, and the Kicker Snap, Snap 17, that was out the other week. Both units require additional adapter kits to be purchased. I have both of those, looking at around $30 US for the original Kicker Direct Drive adapter kit and about $80 US for the Snap unit. A big thank you to the team at the Ride Cycles here in Melbourne for the loaner of a bike here, which has a 142 by 12 through axle system on it. Uh, which one will we start with? We'll go the Snap first. With the Kicker Snap being a wheel-on unit, we don't have any issues with the rear derailleur, gear indexing, or clearance from the disc brake. What we need to do though is make the rear skewer, or axle, compatible with the clamping system on the Kicker Snap. And that's exactly what's provided in the box. The Kicker Snap through axle adapter kit comes with three different through axles here. So you need to choose the correct thread for your bike. It comes with a tapered end if you require that. And also an end cap here that goes on your Kicker Snap. So these can feed into it. Here's the through axle from the bike itself. I can tell very quickly that it needs the fine thread adapter here that's compatible with that. And I can see here that it has a tapered end. So we'll need to put this end cap on here. There we go to make those two compatible. And you'll see why we need to make the change to the kicker itself. This goes onto the kicker snap itself because how it mounts is like that. The one modification we need to make to the kicker snap is to change this end clamp here over to one that's compatible with the through axle that we've put on. For the kicker snap, it was around five minutes work to get the compatible through axle on the bike itself and that little adapter changed. Okay, over to the direct drive kicker unit now, which is exactly the same for the current model kicker 16 and the original kicker. We have a bit more assembly required this time. So in the bag, comes a skewer. So what we're doing with the kicker unit, we effectively change the through axle to a skewer system. So let me run you through the parts required here. Once the box is unpacked, here are the parts that come with. These are the two parts here that go on the kicker trainer itself. We'll install those in a minute. We have the two end caps for this side. The bike I have has a tapered cap, so I'll be using that to slide onto here. Over this end, we need to get rid of that and install it that way. So that's what clamps into the bike there. So now we'll get this installed here. We'll take these off. That's the end cap that goes on. We'll put that under the trainer and then we'll mount the bike. Yes, I am holding the camera in my mouth. Tapered end, standard end, and we'll go to put those on the kicker now. First up, we take this current skewer out. And the small spacer nut that comes with the kit goes on this side. And snugs down just a little. Here we go. On the other side, 
around here. We take out the existing spacer, we put it in here with the 142 facing outwards. Job done. So they're the two modifications required for the unit itself. Very straightforward. Removing the current throw axle. And rear wheel. Placing the bike on just as we would any other trainer. And then we snug it up as normal. Job done. So there it is, the unboxing installation of the through axle adapter kits for both the Kicker Snap and the Kicker Direct Drive units, which is also the Kicker 2. Happy days, easy to install, and really, really stable. Once the bike was on there, I sort of stood up on the bike and wiggled it around to make sure the stability was good. Two thumbs up, all good to go. If you've got a bike with a through axle or looking at buying a bike with a through axle, you'll have no problems at all with these trainers. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.